All right, well, one of the reasons many of us put up with winter is summer, and there are not many prettier places to go around here than Sotus Point. Sam Carter is there now with more on the point and things to do while you are there. Sam, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Not many prettier anchors than you, buddy. Always <laughs> appreciate you guys here in beautiful Sodus Point, which is actually in the village of Sodus. A lot of stuff. Phyllis Bay, Sodus Bay is actually four different villages, you said, Jennifer? Oh, we have several villages, townships all around the bay. Sodus Bay has a lot of people that live right here, and they're all in different townships and villages. Really cool. Jennifer, let's take a walk down here for me. We're right on one of these kind of uh, makeshifty beaches right now. Ben's showing you one of the most beautiful places in central western New York anywhere. Actually, more on that a little bit later. But, Jennifer, this is your season. This is your time of year. You are not only a business owner around here, you're also a town trustee. Talk to me about some of the amazing things happening in Sodus Bay during the summer. So the village of Sodus Point, uh, I'm a trustee. I've been on the board for a couple of years. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, we've actually had tons of new businesses opening, about five or six new businesses this year. So actually blossoming in the area. Um, we had a lot of projects done because of Ready, so the streets are all redone, new curbs, new sidewalks. Yeah, it does. It looks beautiful, beautiful here. And we, like, now, full disclosure, I drove up here around uh, 4.45, 5 this morning, so it was empty. But take me through, you know, noon on a beautiful day like today. What does this area look like? Yeah, so middle of the day, everything is opening up. People are hitting the water. If you're not a fisherman, you're out there for leisure and recreation. Dig it. Yeah, so people usually will head down here. They'll grab a kayak, a pedal boat. Uh, we have a kayak launch. You can actually launch them right here. We have canoes. If you want to ride, ride around town on a beach bike, we have beach bikes for rent. Yeah, stuff. totally. And they can come to you, Soda, yeah. Sodas Bay Sodas Outfitters. Yeah. Sodas Bay Outfitters, you are right here in the heart of Sodas Point. Guys, this place is really, really rad. They got a pirate bar here that combines with a tiki bar. It's unbelievably cool. If you're a pirate, you should head out. If you're into tiki, want a little Hawaiian shirt action? You're all good. Jennifer, really quick, sell Sodas Bay to me in just 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Um, I don't think I could do it in 30 seconds. This place <laughs> is amazing. Um, but if you're interested in being on the water, near the water, um, you want to see sunsets and sunrises, this is an amazing place to come. Guys, Lake Ontario is really only usable for leisure for five to six months a year. So what are you doing? Take advantage of it. So does Point. It's really pretty. It's right on Lake Ontario. Come for a fishing. Come for a fish fry. Go to the pirate bar. Get a patch. <laughs> I'm going to go look for one. Let's get back to Matt at the you studio. You better find one. I'm looking forward to that, Sam. All right, Sam, thank you very much. Here's what's coming up as we continue on Good Day Rochester through 9 o'clock this morning. At 7.30, some of the deals being offered on Amazon Prime Day. We're going to check in at Amazon during its big day. At 8.15, this week's Crime Stoppers Most Wanted, the Monroe County District Attorney's Office looking at DWI cases going up as COVID restrictions are lifted. And at 8.20, we're going to meet musical duo called Left on Red. What brought these two talented women together? And they are also going to perform for us in studio.